comprehensive biomarker testing uh, and why it's important in lung cancer, um, I have a couple different answers for that. The first is when we think about biomarkers, that really says that we are finding a signal in your body that alerts us that, for example, you may have too high of a, of a, of a one particular signal. That signal then allows us to say, hey, you, you may have something going on or some of your cells may make us want to think about that you may have more increased risk of actually having cancer. Now, when we think about biomarkers, this is something that in the 1920s and 30s never even hit the radar screen. And so we now have, I mean, wonderful technology that understands something like, for example, growth factors. EGFR, which people know, epithelial growth factor receptors. This EGFR has been in newspapers. It's been in magazines because it was one of the first biomarkers we had that said, if you have a mutation in this receptor of this epithelial growth factor, the nice part about that, we could find a perfect drug to match that can take care of your cancer. So we're now looking at biomarkers on two levels. First, biomarkers that looks for treatment and biomarkers that would actually predict, predict risk of cancer. So that's why it's important. Why it's important to people is that I think that this is one of the first areas when we're talking about what our breakthroughs were in lung cancer. Remember, I, uh, I started off in lung cancer as a medical student thinking that there was only one drug. It was called cisplatin. It was a chemotherapy. And that chemotherapy drug was okay, but certainly not great. So now that we understand that there are signals in your body, these things we call biomarkers that could be taken from your sputum, they can be taken from your blood, they can be even taken from the urine. We now know that there are proteins or markers within your body that if you have them, we could say, you know what? This puts you at increased risk and you may want to think about either lifestyle changes or we can say you have cancer. And I know in the years following, you know, preceding when you had advanced stage cancer, there wasn't much we can do, but we can say, you know, you have this particular signal and we can do something about that. So the common ones are uh, epithelial growth factors, ALK, KRAS. But what I really want to let people know is that this is where science matters. Interestingly enough, the way we got the epithelial growth factor, which has turned the whole thing of lung cancer on its head of being treatment, comes from a fruit fly. It was through understanding the Drosophila fruit fly that we understand the importance of growth factors. And interesting enough, we've now extended those growth factors in understanding that they're important in lung cancer and we have therapies for them. So I think we're in a, we haven't, we are just scratching the surface of the use of biomarkers uh, to help patients.